don't have that same level of maneuverability. So your question was about if you can't sell uh, prescription glasses. Your question was um, in different countries. Article 763. How can you sell? Ordinal 359 in Hong Kong says that you need to be an optician in order to sell prescribed contact lenses and you are not an optician. And I will wait first. What do you do? He sells glasses. No, I don't want to do it. You can't ask that question without saying what you do. Okay. Um, this is a very transparent environment. You've got to say what you do. Okay, actually, right, me, um, I'm thinking, I'm just thinking, all right, of selling contact lenses. But the ordinary 359 stopped me. But it did stop me. <laughs> <laughs> so we we've um he's just cleverer than you. We have we have an optical dispenser on our side. Yeah. So you need to hire an optometrist or an optical dispenser in Hong Kong so that you can comply with the uh, the legal uh, requirements in Hong Kong. So when someone places a contact lens order in Hong Kong, our optometrist in Hong Kong checks the prescription so that we satisfy the rules of the law and then we're able to sell the contact lenses in Hong Kong. But that obviously is for Hong Kong customers. In the example that I provided earlier, we have websites in other countries. If you want to sell contact lenses to American customers or other customers around the world, then you get in that grey zone, right, where a customer in Ireland or wherever is making a purchase from a Hong Kong company. So it's an Irish website or a UK website um, but the transactions happening between the customer and the terms and conditions, the Hong Kong company. And that's how the gambling industry is, is huge online, right, in America. It's like, you know, the gambling websites, they have their servers in Indian reservations in, in America, but they're not really in America, because legally they're not in an American jurisdiction. So this satisfied your first question, right? Yes? Opposition. The, the second kind of third one was, how can I trust that these are not, you know, these are real products? At, at the beginning, you know, that was like, um, and that was a real challenge for us because we were selling everything at a discount to the retailers. So obviously, there was a lot of like uh, speculation about the quality of the products. But that's where you, you know, it's, it's really about standing behind your guns, you know, standing behind what you believe in, you know, authenticity, communicating to the customers the important, the importance of authenticity, um, and again, the feedback forums. And that's the only reason why. Also, it, returns, right? So, do you have a higher rate of return? A hundred day return policy. You know, we, we, we would extend the return policy to two years. We've done tests on it, you know, and like. Most customers, 95% of customers, they either return in the first week or two. Otherwise, you know, they never return anyway. So whether you have a okay, let's move on to the next question. You can get more details later. However, uh, come on. You've asked one already. All right. And I've got a free giveaway. So I go to places. I think what you've done is amazing. By the way. I think what you've done is amazing. Um, I think that the uh, that the fact that you've taken an arbitrage opportunity and turned it into a, to a profit making business. My question is this: If knowing what you know now, what business would you have gone into? And secondly, running the business that you run now, what keeps you up at night? What is the what is, what's your your number one kind of uh, stress hand issue that really you know, group that you really worry about? Great questions, thank you. Um, first question, what business would I go into if I had the chance again? I, I love um, e-commerce, I've learned a lot about e-commerce over this journey, but what the best e-commerce businesses are the ones where there's a high reorder rate. Okay, because it's much better if once you take once you once you get a customer, if you can continue selling to that customer, right? And that's why uh, businesses like Groupon or Fields, um, you know, or contact lens businesses that have a high reorder rate, they're much more valuable, you know, because once they acquire that customer, they just keep selling to the customer. So, uh, so the first thing is that a business with a with a really good reorder rate. The second thing Why is. If you, if you use it often, for example. Um, nappy business, for example, nappies.com, you know, all these sorts of things. Um, 
And the, the second thing is a business where, where the supply chain is less complex. Because we buy the product from distributors, right? So we can only ever have a margin, right? So it's, it's so much better, obviously, if you make your own product, right? Because if you own the product, then again, you, you own the brand. So again, you know, good selling our own brand of your glasses as opposed to, um, you know, brand name glasses is obviously more lucrative and you control more. Um, but the best sort of business is one where there isn't a product at all. Um, and um, where you're, you're selling, you know, like paper. So I actually like um, online, um, you know, gambling, online gambling, for example, because that's just like, it's an algorithm, right? Building algorithms and then just making money off, you know, selling algorithms. Um, you know, I've got a friend who's got a, um, a tarot card business, and um, you know, it's like I always envy him because like he prints cards, right? But then he sells them, and then like so it's like printing money in a way, you know, because he's printing his own, you know, his own future, his own product, you know. So what keeps you up and running? I think um, it's really about like performance and growth. You know, I think that there's a after building a company where you have a company of 160 people now, there's an expectation that you know you, you take care of your, your family in a way or your staff. And um, I, I certainly want to keep on offering opportunities for the staff and continue to grow the business. And um, in, it's a competitive landscape out there. And um, and these days, it's it's not just about growing a business. It's about like understanding many other things, like the financial markets and all those sorts of things. Um, yeah, because you must have a lot of currency issues you have to deal with. Right? Mm -hmm. Have you hired somebody who's like a, a financial whiz kid to do all of the... Within the finance department, there's business intelligence, there's these sorts of things. But um, the point is that like, you know, we, we all have our own capacity, our limitations. Um, but then to be successful and to retain, to remain successful, is not just about our own um, skills. It's about the skills of the people you can bring into the team and whether you can do that faster than the competitors. Um, okay, one well, last question. The rest of you can just talk to him. Yes. So when you switch from PayPal, um, can you come over here? Yeah. So when you switch from, no, 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 no. all right. So when you switch from eBay from from eBay to your own website to your own website, sorry. So how long does it take to, to your new website to catch up for the sales to eBay and um, what is your most effective user acquisition user acquisition strategy? What do you do? Uh, I sell wine online. You e e e eBay or through your website? My own website. Your own website. Yes. What's it called? Spikes Salad. Spikes Salad.com. What? Spikes. Spice Salad.com. Like Spice, right? S P I C E. It's a dot com. So it's K. Spike. So it's dot com in English. Which market do you ship to? What's your focus market? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. See, so again, is it in English or Cantonese? English. Okay, so off of the bat, I think to myself, well, you know, you've got this English website in Hong Kong, you know, like, the population of Hong Kong is 7 million, and like, the Cantonese people probably prefer to buy in Cantonese, right? Yeah. So, all of a sudden, your website, your market's only 100,000 people, right? Of the 7 million. So, you, you're sort of limiting yourself by just having that, that one language. Um, that's off the top of my head. Um, you know, just, just by opening up another language, like uh, the Cantonese, that's, you know, I think it would be um, in the best interest of the size of the market. Alright, cool. Let's do the ladies. We're going to end the interview there because this has been gone for hours and he's, he's a very interesting fellow. You can talk to him in a moment. But before we do that, um, firstly, I'm going to drop the name cards all over the floor. That's a dramatic effect. And then I'm going to ask somebody to David, who's a very kind-hearted fellow, to help me pick up. And then we're going to do a lucky draw, ladies. And the lucky draw is for two tickets to Flix Eat on the sixth to seventh of August. Oh my God! So let's do it. Thanks, mate. Do you want to do it now? No, Karen, Ronnie, there you are. Come and do a lucky draw. No, you don't have to go on all right, da da da, drum roll. Drum roll. I'm not hearing a drum roll. Let me start. There we go, drum roll. And the winner is. Do you need yeah, glasses? Max is already coming. What? That was Max. He's already coming. Oh, my team can come. All right, I'll make it. And the winner is. Alan Tan, Chief Operating Officer for 
from Zednap. Zednap, way is Snap. It's a mobile payment of all kinds of fucking things going on. There you go. Good job. And you get a free drink coupon too, put that there. What was that? No, that's it. One more, one more, one more. Take a picture. Alan, come back, come back. <laughs> quick, quick plug for your company. Omni Channel Commerce and all our payments. There you go, ZNAP, right? EZ, as they say in Hong Kong. And uh, there, come on, come back, come back, come on. And the second winner is Drop Roll Cake. Drop Roll Cake. The second winner is Kate Scott. Oh, no! Drop Roll, good one. Woo! Right there. Thank you. Can I join this photograph? Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Lovely. All right, so I know you all want to talk to each other desperately. So who wants to do this? We're going to do this now. Get your wallets out. We've got some nice uh, glasses here, and they are genuine. I promise you they're genuine. <laughs> And the money that you bid for these glasses will go to Orbis directly. There's an arbitrage here, because if you, if you can acquire glasses for lower than like uh, the eBay value, you can sell them on eBay afterwards. <laughs> okay, so where do we start? You tell me where to start. Okay, so we, uh, we have uh, the first uh, pair of glasses, a brand new pair of uh, Ray Dan Wayfarers. Um, they look really good on Annie. They look really good, so alright. Now, Eunice and Annie. We're going to start the bidding. Andy's going to model these red band glasses. We're going to start the bidding at 50 Hong Kong. Okay, come on. This is where they're down here, guys. It is Wednesday, and in Wednesday it's the Jockey Club, right? Isn't it the races? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Happy Wednesday. These have got um, a beautiful, like, orange uh, oh, nice. sort of graffiti. Oh, I'll try them on, try them on. All right, I've always wanted to do this. I see 50, 50, 50, worse than 50 days. Woo! Woo! Where can anybody go higher? 50? 100. 100, oh nice, we've got 100, 100. Any more? 120, there we go. 150. 100, 150, woo! Do I see any takers on 150? 150, going once. Oh, 170, going once. 200. 200, going once. Going twice, yeah, 200. Oh, we had a 250, squeeze in. 250. 300. Where? Who said 300? You can't say it, you're wearing it. 200, huh? 300. Going once. 300. How much are you Going once, going twice, do I see it? 350. 350, always going like this. Going once. Do I see 400? 400? 500? Going once? 550? Wow! Ah, I like it, he's a gambler. Going once, going twice. 550, do I have any takers? 600? It's a good number. Lock, Ling Ling, good one. Lock, Lock, Ling Ling. Do I see 600? The money's going to Orbis. We're going to donate the money to Orbis, which is a charity here in uh, 1,000? <laughs> Do I see any takers? Sean? Groupon? Say <laughs> once. I have 1,800. No, we don't. Correct. Game twice. Any more? Any more? Is there a chance, Martin? 1,000. There we go. If you're having to do this, I'm going to make sure that you make sure. You can just write your name and your price down. Old fashioned paper. Can you get, have you got a pen? Yeah. Oh, you got a pen. That's quite exciting. And we also have a journalist, Peter. We've got two more pairs of uh, Tom Ford women's uh, sunglasses. Uh, top selling uh, pair of uh, black. And we also want to have a go at uh, you. want to have a go? Oh, 50. We got 50. What, who are these? 
Tom Corn, we got 50. Oh, we're Tom Tom Ford, you're going to get a pass. 150, we got uh, 150. Well, don't worry, Bob, don't disappear. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright, 150, do I see 300? We doubled it, nice. Oh, my, she's doing better than you, I'm sorry. 300, do I hear. 500, brilliant, 500. 500, 500, do we hear a gorilla? Has anybody got a gorilla? Is there saying anything? 500, Malaysia, is someone from Malaysia? Are you from Malaysia? Yeah. You can bring it too. 500, uh, what's it? Yeah, 500. Anybody else? Any more? Do I have 550? And once, and twice. Ah! Oh, okay, out of the corner here, yeah, 550. These are Tom Ford and Martina, um, sunglasses uh, retail for about 3,300 Hong Kong. This is a woman with glasses. Oh, brilliant. 550. Married man, always good. 600 out there. Woo! 600. 3D, 3D. 600. Do I see 600 for Tom Ford? I pronounce it properly. Women's glasses. For how much do we turn up? 3,300, come on. We sell, we sell for about 2,200, I think. Yeah. So we're almost... 40% off, 35 600, come on. Yeah. A bit more generously, 600. Do I hear... <laughs> Staff asking? 650, do I hear game one? Who, who said you said it? 680. 680, oh good number. Lot of part, lot of part. Got my name right at the fire, okay, once. 700. 700. We've got to get up to 1,000. 750. Yeah. 800. 800. He's out letting his partner, I like it. Any more? Okay, once, okay, twice. A little spin. 880. Bye, buddy. Okay, once. Do I hear you? Do I hear you, noisy, rowdy, lot in the corner? Okay, twice. What? Oh yeah, one more, one thousand, going once, going twice, do I hear one thousand a little bit more? There we go. Oh. I'm so glad we have people to know with us. Also on the dress side, oh nice. There we go. Wonderful experience. Okay, how many have we got left? All right, I'm going to finish with the, uh, who likes skiing in this room? All right, one skier, any more skiers? $100, Sean, $100. How much do these retail for? These are Smith uh, snowboarding goggles. Where did that come from? Lifetime warranty made in America, vapor red uh, series, five times anti fogging on that. 300 over here. It's it's New Zealand against New Zealand. I like it. Kiwi battle. The Kiwi K to K. Oh God, Jesus Christ! I'm not going to say that. Three fifty. Come on, you Kiwis. Three fifty. Ping pong. Ping pong. Come on. Ah yeah, there we go. Look at that. Just imagine, you could walk out this bar tonight, down Ranchai, and nobody will bother you. I've always wanted to do that. 400. 400. Oh, there we go. 400. So I need 450. Who's the skiers in the room? Do I see any more? 450. Come on, all this is going to like this. What can we do with that money? What can all this do with that? All this does eye examinations, flying hospital eye examinations, cornea. How many people can they fix? It depends if it's an examination, like an operation. All right. All right. So we got four. Was it 25 and a half or something? 500. Kiwi battle is on. 550. Are you from the same parts of Kiwi land? All right, then. So, 550. Any more bidders? Can we open up to another market outside of like New Zealand? Kiwi, going once, going twice. You want these? They've got to do the Kiwi. Going once, going twice. 550 was it? Uh, any more in one room? Uh, oh. 
And there you go, Sean, they're yours. Thank you very much. If you're still thirsty, and thank you, by the way, that was very generous. That was very generous. Well done. And if you're still, uh, if you're still thirsty, come up to David, and I will give you a drink before. All right. Thank you, David. All right, wait, 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 wait. We've got some uh, uh, interesting heckling here. We're doing, we're doing a lucky draw. Get the name cards. Get the name cards. Three pieces of glasses. Okay. And so um, I just want to clarify first of all, these three products here are from. So, what's your name? Yeah. So, um, in, in the spirit of giving tonight, Napoleon has some additional gifts to give away. And um, I'm going to let him give them away. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do a lucky draw. Ooh. Thank you, Peter. Danny's card could go back in. So, what are these? What are these? Peter, what are these? Peter, Peter, what are these things? We actually have the last, last minute entry or something. Well, we've been talking about glasses today. And, um, you know, as we know, the, the, the China ecosystem for developing and creating new glasses is, is alive and kicking. And so today what we've got is three pairs of unique, custom-made um, Wayfarer design uh, with the Intel Inside logos on the inside. So this, is the, this is the Intel die. Uh, this is a um, this is a custom-made limited edition. There's there's less than a five less than 500 pairs of these uh, these glasses. Um, and they're uh, they're here to be put away. Do a lucky draw. Come around and pick out the colours. Go on, let me in, let me in. Okay, and the winner is. Can I have a pen? Thank you. Okay, sir. The winner is. Where is Max Simmer? Yes! Oh, I keep that one out, it's the one before. Uh, one more, we're doing one more because I'm going to keep one, I hope they don't mind. That's the gift for being a nice person. All right. And the winner is Stephen Lamb from Epsis. Stephen Lamb, there you go, man. Where's the last one? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. There they are. Nicely packaged. Can I give you a pen? I'll give you a pen. Alright, one more, one more. Alright, last one. You're going to give me a pen, right? Alright, last pen. Alright, so that's it. Alright, thank you very much. You can hang around here. Feel free to mingle and talk to our great speaker, very inspiring fellow, and if you come and get drinks from me. Thank you. Music. Thank you.